Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to connect and measure from a quadrature encoder using MeoDAC and FlexLogger Lite. Now, I've already got MeoDAC powered up and connected to my laptop, and I've got FlexLogger installed. So let's take a quick look at the sensor. Uh, this is the quadrature encoder that I'm using. Uh, I like that it has a sticker on the back that shows me the pinout. I've already wired up two of the channels to the MeoDAC digital port. I've also already powered the quadrature encoder using just a spare USB cable. So I hacked into it, and I'm using the 5 volts from the USB to power the quadrature encoder. Um, and so the last thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to connect the index line to my MeoDAC. And it's, if, you, if you're noticing this tip, this is a, a ferrule, and it makes it really convenient to just plug it right in, and then that's in there. OK, so now. My quadrature encoder is completely connected. I'm going to flip over to software, where in FlexLogger Lite, I can go to my counter timer section, open it up, and I can select physical measurement angular position. This particular quadrature encoder has 360 pulses per revolution. And I know that both from the data sheet, but it's also in the model number on the back. So that's super convenient. Now, on the electrical side, a uh, couple things. One really nice feature of MeoDAC is any one of the digital pins can be routed to the counter timer, to any of the counter timers. So I'm in counter timer zero, and I've already wired up these, these pins. And I know that I put in channel A into port zero. Channel B is in port one, or line one. And then the index is wired up into line two. So I just put 0, 1, 2, because that was convenient. But I could have used any of the lines, because the digital, again, you can route any line to any counter. A uh, couple of other things. The decoding type, there's, there's different uh, decoding types for the encoder. Um, I want to show a, a white paper that knows more than I do about quadrature encoders. Uh, so Google this. And maybe, maybe add ni.com in the Google search, and it will take you to this page. But it goes through all like how quadrature encoders work and the different settings, uh, and it really helps to understand when you're when you're wiring it up. So check out that white paper. Um, if we go back to FlexLogger Lite, the last thing that I have to do, which I picked up from that white paper, is I have to select the phase for my index, and this particular quadrature encoder is low low. So now that I've got channel A and B and index wired. I've got my phase set, and I've got my pulses per revolution. I can go back to the sensor. And as I twist the knob, you can see in the little uh, preview window, which is a nice feature of FlexLogger Lite, that I am tracking my revolutions. Now, the, the screen actually, let me see here. I'm going to adjust this range, 360 to 360. There we go. So now that just reset my, my scale. And I can track all the way down to negative 360. And then that index pin brings us back to 0, back to 0, go the other way, all the way off the screen, back to 0. And now once I have my channel configured, I could go over to the Screen tab and drop charts or use uh, dials or, or numeric indicators to see what, what position that quadrature encoder is in. And that's how you connect and measure quadrature encoders with FlexLogger Lite and MeoDAC.